What we're going to do in this video is combine a couple of pretty cool tools, one that is within Google Earth and one that's available from the U.S. Geological Survey as a download, and, and that second thing is uh, geologic maps of all 50 states in Google Earth format, and we're going to combine it with the profile, elevation profile tool within Google Earth, and you can see that at least some of the time the topography is uh, largely determined by the underlying, underlying geology and uh, you'll see that we can set this up in just a few minutes time. What you need to make this work is the newest or a newer version of Google Earth. Uh, the profile tool is a fairly recent, recent addition. Then you need those USGS geologic maps in Google Earth format. And you can find that at virtualfieldwork.org and click on the BFE resources page. Scroll down there for data and map sources and on the data and map sources page scroll down to digital geologic maps of the US click on that and then take your pick of states and download that it'll take a moment because they are larger files so I'm going to pause the recording and flip myself over to Google Earth and we'll see you there you can see I've created a folder with a bunch of these. I don't have them all yet. Um, they're also not all complete as yet. Uh, for the sake of my demonstration, I'm going to use New York, but uh, you can follow along with any old state. Turn New York on, and that's what it looks like. And you can see that within the folder there's a whole bunch of units. Uh, a couple of quick tricks before we get to the profile. So that you can click anywhere in New York, and it will give you a brief description of the rock unit and you can click for a detailed description and it'll open it up and you can look at that. You can also flip back over to Google Earth and you can turn that rock unit on and off and see what area it covers and you can also use the opacity slider and you can choose whatever rock unit you want and fade it in and fade it out which is helpful for figuring out exactly where uh, it relates to the edge of uh, surface features. And I'm going to zoom in to western New York, close to where I live. And to um, draw the profile, I'm going to um, highlight the temporary places file. And I'm going to draw a profile, just a straight line, a path I should say using the path tool between here and here and I'm going to call that profile show off click OK now it ended up leaving this untitled path and I'm not sure why it does that but it doesn't really matter um, I did a practice one before that's still there it's profile show off And again, it's worth pointing out that I highlighted temporary places before I drew the path, and that put it in here, and that's important because otherwise you might lose track of it. It ends up being at the bottom of the uh, set of uh, formations in the folder for the geologic map units. Now that I've got it highlighted in light blue there, I'm going to control click. If you're using a mouse, you can right click, and that brings up a menu. You should. Right now. So I control click and it brings up show elevation profile as a choice and it draws the profile. That's pretty cool. Cooler still is I can swing it and line it up, zoom in, and go down in the profile and actually zoom in just a little bit more. Which you can use this too. Um, and get it pretty well lined up. You can fiddle a little more and get it exactly lined up. And as you scroll along in the profile section, you can see that where the topography changes, at least some of the time, the geologic map units also change. Pretty cool. And that's all there is to it.